Right, for those that don't know, um, I use OS Buddy, and they have this new client out called GL, whatever that means, GL client, and it basically means you can zoom the fuck out. Look at this. Take, check this out. Like, like what? Like, like you can actually see shit like fucking miles away. Look, look at those shrooms on the top of the hill. Can't really zoom into them, but they're up there. Um, and I thought I was going to go on a little like PK. Oh fuck, I'm on normals. Th th this is my altar, guys. Um, I'd like to get on ancients, please. Thanks. Everything's a bit more glossy, I'd say. You've got this kind of like green tinge to my ghosty robes now. Maybe that's just the floor. Uh, I don't know. It just it looks sick. Everything looks quite cool. Um, pretty pre EOC, I'd say. Now what you have got is a massive like view of everything. Um, you can see people like you would normally. You see him on my mini map up here. You can just see him. He's there. Um, but when he goes away from there, he disappears as, as he just did then. Um, but what you can see is spawns on the floor. Even though that's out my, out my mini map now, I can still see that shark. I can still see that shark. So it's kind of cool, but it's kind of bad. I mean, it, I think it's really good that you can't see players from like, over here because seeing two guys wandering over with fucking full arrows, I'm just going to log out, right? Um, and that does take away the fun of the game. But the fact you can see loot as well is kind of kind of good, especially at, like a clan war situation when. You want to know if clans are fighting or whatever, and you see a load of loot on the floor, you, you, you know there's somewhere to push and shit like that, that's quite cool. But um, yeah, it's not too OP, but I'm just going to try and do a bit of PKing with it. I've never PKed on a full client like this before, I've always used the um, this one. Has improved some of the graphics, it makes it look a bit more glossy, a bit more neat. Oh my, fuck me, I'm getting, I'm getting, hang on, this was, this was not part of the script. I was, got one, come my world, come my world. What do you mean you got one? That's not... I'm not even potted, bro. I'm trying to do an intro for my fucking video, bass. Oh, well. Let's zoom out and have a bit of fun. Well, as you can see, or not see for that matter, oh, my fucking grand singing. Listen to this. It's the shit I have to put up with. I look after her for fucking three weeks after she's come out of hospital and she repays me with that. Oh, fuck's sake, man. As I was saying... Uh, I did zoom in in the end because I couldn't really see what the fuck was going on. But um, yeah, it's it's pretty pretty mental. I don't really like it if I'm honest. I mean that's just a personal opinion. I'd, I've always played RuneScape for its content and not its actual graphics, obviously, because it's like 2D caveman style fucking game. But um, yeah, that's why I've, maybe I haven't really clicked this. Maybe you guys will. I don't know. But I thought I'd you know show you what you're in for if you have got OS Buddy. I'm not sure if it's even a pro feature or not. But I'm I have got OS Buddy Pro, so I have it. Um, this is probably the furthest zoomed out kill I had and the barrage comes in real quick from what I saw um, and again as you're casting it the hit splats are probably because you're zoomed out so much. I mean it is so difficult to PK like this. Um, I'll leave all your shit on the floor bro. So I'm just trying to test out the PKing. Let's have a look. You can probably see, yeah you can see the resource area from here. So I could literally hop around here and if any of these trees are missing um, or any of these ores start going grey, grey, grey. That would mean that there's someone there. So in that aspect, it is pretty OP. Another good place to try would be here at the Rune Rocks. I'm assuming you're going to be able to see, once we've got over this lag spike, yeah, you can see all three Rune Rocks over here, up at, um, up at the agility course. And yeah, I can literally hop around and see if any of them are missing. If they are missing, I can pretty much guarantee that there's going to be someone mining there. And then it's just a matter of finding them. But, um... To see which side they're mining on is going to be useful. Uh, but there's one missing here, and there's no missing here. So I'm assuming there's only, he's only on this side. If we jump 30 worlds to say well, 33 ish. Um, okay, so we've got a guy in the middle. Have we got a guy on the end? No. So we've got one in the middle and one on the right. It doesn't tend to be uh, the same person because you'd have to run to the rocks through these aggro spiders. So um, yeah, now it's just a case of finding the two guys. So we'll keep hopping. Until we don't find any more rune ore, you're going down. Most people do mine in order so they can tell which worlds they've mined and which ones they haven't. Some people don't, but okay, there's ore back in that world, so we'll leave that for now. But we're going to jump another 10 worlds up here. Okay, there's no, there is ore in here, sorry, so we're going to hop back down. Hopefully, we should find him in maybe this world. 
Yeah. Oh, he's level 34. He can actually... I, oh, no. Actually get out, out of view. Get out of view. Try again. We'll go to world 62. I ran in and got in combat. Let's just see. Wait for him. There he is. Come on. Come on. What's going on? This is fucking bent, mate. Hitting zeros. Kill him. Yes, boys. I hit a 41 on him. You might not have even seen it. And we get a few rune ore. I'll get two rune ore. Valley tellies. Like, what's that about? Don't like that. Probably get too defensive. I'm not careful. <gasps> Look, see this guy running. It's two stepping. It's two stepping. Level 86. You want him? All right, we're going to zoom in on this. Oh, no, I'm DB'd. I'm so dead. He kind of knows what he's doing. We're going to get an evacuate evacuation. Let's go to the Hobgoblin mine. Run, little guy. Come on, son. Come on, get a bind, get a bind, get a bind. Come on, mate, get a bind, get a bind. Get a bind. He's done. He's, he's dead. He, I can see him, but you ain't getting away now. I mean, I mean I'm getting away. Fuck you. Okay. So let's do a little recap. Graphics wise, um, it's pretty cool. I mean, I like the idea that I can make nice thumbnails now with the wilderness with the extra kind of glossy look. Um, and then also finding skillers, that's about it. You can find depleted ore or ores or trees or whatever. Um, after, apart from that, it's not very good, especially for me. I've got quite a poor computer, so it's a bit laggy. Um, but I'd be really interested to see what you guys think of it. If you've got OS Buddy, try it out. Let me know what you think. Um, and obviously it can be useful for certain things, rune crafting being one of them. So um, yeah, go check out Third Age Films video as well. He does go into a bit, he goes into a bit more detail and he doesn't just explore the wilderness. But yeah, go check him out. And um, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed this weird kind of video and I shall see you for the next episode. Bye.